Uh, Prashan Dalvi, um, I've got a question for Dr. Uga. Um, is there a role for your technology in areas outside oncology? Um, for example, uh, uh, infectious diseases, multiple, multi-drug resistant infectious diseases? Yeah, so, so in, in principle what we do is we adapt, adapt the, the vaccine or the immunotherapy to the, to, the, to the molecular characteristics of the disease. So if you take this as a general thinking procedure, you can ask the question what happens in patients with chronic HIV. So every patient with chronic HIV has a population of different viruses, yeah? and this virus, this virus population in these patients are absolutely specific to the, to the, to the, to the individual patient. It's the same with HCV, but HCV has been cured, and maybe HIV is cured by also by another mechanism. But this is the way of thinking. If you have something which works in cancer, it could work also in chronic infectious disease. If you have something which is able to prevent cancer, it could prevent infectious disease. And you can, you can also think the other way. If you have autoimmune disease, where the, where the immune system is attacking in an, in, an, in an inappropriate way normal tissues, you can consider to build a vaccine yeah, which instructs the immune system not anymore to target uh, this, this, this specific molecules. We have done that in, in an animal model of multiple sclerosis, and we're able to show that using a vaccine which immunomodulates, which does not activate the T cells but, but calm them down, yeah, is able, able to, to, to therapeutically address this, this disease in, in mice.